Alright, Shalom, 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 Brother Kadog, Abari, how would they do some more precepts? First, I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the elder, elder apostles of great millstones, do well, peace, bless the hopeful elect. Strong Shalom to I came out down, how was involved with pushing this work of truth sincerity. Strong Shalom to Akawathingham, who described this truth, and strong Shalom to the speck bird, which all you is a life on, it's like the nations were scattered into, Shalom, Shalom. So, um, this is going to be a real quick hit. Uh, tomorrow will be, uh, street teaching will be put up tomorrow. Um, today was a little bit too windy for me, and I ain't got no more strong um, to stand that it can go against the wind or anything to set it up against, or no brother or anything. So, tomorrow, the wind will be a little bit less than today. I'll be able to get that street teaching up, get that edifying uh, street teaching for, for, for Israel. Or with him. Okay. So I'm gonna get straight into this lesson. Get straight into this lesson and um as we know that the news state that the Lord gonna show itself in uh, when it comes to the day of the Lord, okay, when it's when his day is coming and it's near. And that's why Elder Pastor Hart on um, deemed this year hastening his coming, the, the coming of our Lord and Savior, Hawa Shah Hamashiach. Okay. So how much, uh, uh, what manner of people are we to be in our holy conversation and God and seeing all these things shall be dissolved, okay? Seeing that all these things around us going to be burnt up. Seeing Babylon going to be burnt up, man, okay? Where should your conversation be? Where should your mindset be at, man? All right, um, this is Joel uh, 2 and 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be darkened, shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord come. So we've been seeing a lot of blood moons. We've been seeing a lot of eclipses and stuff going on, okay? Um, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Which is talking about the elect of Israel, man. From Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. No, in the whole world. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said in the remnant. Whom the Lord shall call. So there you go, man. The Lord is going to call a remnant, man. He's only going to call a remnant, man. Okay. <clears throat> so the Lord only going to call a remnant. Let me get this um this article that I'm leaving in the description box. Okay. Because it was all... Um, A volcano eruption. I think it was two of them, if I'm not mistaken. It was like, um, this is Iceland uh, volcanic eruption. Iceland's new eruption. Um, um, uh, March 20th. Earth's grandeur is spilling out. The Icelandic meteorological office reported Friday evening that lava started flowing out of the fissure on the islands. Rick Jens peninsula after months of quaking in the region. The lava flows are currently a threat to anyone so they're a pure source of intrigue and wonder. The Icelandic um, musician Borg for example is stoked. The new fissure is some 500 to 700 meters long and video captured by the Icelandic Coast Guard shows the lava found into the air from the large crack. Iceland is one of the most uh, volcanic dynamic places on Earth, with a significant eruption occurring in, on average every four or five years. Yet yeah, this was southwestern Iceland's first eruption in some 800 years, reports the New York Times. Much of the island is composed of long ago cooled volcanic rock, molten rock, and magma. Um, is always brewing beneath Iceland, in large part um, because it lies over a hot spot where the plum of magma from deep in the earth can travel up near this to the surface. Hawaii has a similar hot spot. So we got videos and pictures, okay. All right, so the Lord is showing you that man, he's about to renew the whole earth, man. All things about to be renewed within Yahweh shop, man. Okay, all things, man. The elect man, the the earth man. It's going to be a, it's a, the earth probably won't even look the same by the time the Lord gets down with it, man.
בעצם, כן. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So, a just so so one big thing um, why I brought out this verse is because part of being new is changing everything. Okay, um, refreshing everything. Okay, so the Lord is going to refresh the earth for His elect, man. For the, for the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, he's gonna change things. are gonna be changed, man. Especially after the nuclear, the nuclear warheads um, hit, things are gonna be changed. Islands are gonna be removed from the places, mountains, man. All for the elect's sake, man. That wickedness no longer will rule the earth. Okay, so Lord willing, this is edifying that hey, the Lord's about to make things all anew. This, these volcanoes and these earthquakes, these. Tsunamis, tornadoes, floods, snowstorms. All these things are to are eventually gonna to get to a point where it's gonna kill the wicked. Okay? It's gonna destroy the wicked. It's just like, you know what I'm saying, um, if you ever watch, if I'm not mistaken, it was um the golden circle, if I'm not mistaken. The um, Kingsman, Slanky Kingsman, not the Golden Circle, it was one of them Kingsman, the Secret Service. I think that was the name of the Kingsman service or something like that. But it's just called the Kingsman, it's the movie name. Okay, and in the movie Samuel Jackson said when the earth is sick, it causes, you know what I'm saying, it, you know, it, it tries to cure itself. Well, when the body is sick, it tries to cure itself through its own, you know what I'm saying, basically antibodies and stuff, man. So the earth, the Lord is going to use the earth to do the same thing. Hey, but it's all actually the Lord. The Lord is going to heal the earth. He's going to heal his elect in the earth, man. So when all things are going to become anew through Yahweh Shah, man, hey, the earth as well, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we need to be looking at these things as signs that, hey, these are wonders that we're seeing. See, every time a volcano happens, man, it, change, it changes the ge geographical form of a, a place, man. So, it's the same with the earthquake, same with a flood. You know what I'm saying? All these things are, are happening for the elect's sake, man. Again, so Lord willing, this is edifying, man. And I'm going to close out by giving all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the elder, elder apostles of great muslims. Stay well, peace, bless the whole Shalom, shalom, blah, blah, blah. And this also was an um, update on um, hastening his coming as well, you know, so I'm going to put it as a, um, uh, uh, I just, I'm going to say just earthly update, 2021, hastening his coming. So shalom, shalom.